Hello and welcome to Notre Dame Robotic Football Club's first video on how to build a lineman. My name is Anthony Gu and I'll quickly just be going over some of the basics of how to build our standard base. Our standard base is essentially what we build all of our things off of. So wide receiver, center, quarterback, they're all based off this design with a few small additions here and there to uh, give them their unique functionality. So. Um, quick thing to note before we get started is that all of our material, all of our plastic components are made out of high density polyurethane or HDPE and the base plate uses a quarter inch thick, uh, sorry half inch thick uh, HDPE while all the sidewalls and smaller components use quarter inch. So first thing to focus about our sand base design is that we use kind of a jigsaw method to, cut, to put the sidewalls and the base plates together. So this is kind of what our sidewalls look like and we have four mostly identical pieces, some slightly different than others. To, uh, and what those will do is they can fit together sideways and like so to give them the right angle so they kind of jigsaw together like this. And they also have they slide nicely into the base plate. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that very quickly. Another thing to note that we do is that for these sidewalls, they also have this little protrusion up here that will actually stick out of the top plate when we get to that part of the video and you'll see how this is uh, important for putting the top plate and fastening it to the sidewalls as well. So I'm just going to do that. Let's see. Do that. Here, this goes here. They're all just fastened in like this. It um, helps to kind of hammer them down, so I'm going to take a sledgehammer here and just kind of... Alright, so now that I'm done putting them on, I'm going to take them off just to kind of help show if some of the assembly bits for underneath and to inside of this little box. Please hold. Okay, we're going to put these sidewalls off to the side now. So just put them over here. So basically, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add these little plates right here, these ones right here, right over the wheel wells. So these little T cutouts are kind of where the motors and the wheels are going to be located. So this piece allows us just to uh, screw the wheels and the motors directly onto the uh, directly onto the base plate. So I'm gonna take a few of these. Sizes uh, size of the screw isn't particularly important as long as it's just a large enough diameter so that you're confident it's not going to like fly off mid drive. Okay, so those wheel plates are now on. Um, we're not going to put the wheels on quite yet. We're just going to do this next bit. This next bit is the battery plate. So these go on pretty easily. They have just three little nuts here. Two, one of them kind of secures it to the bottom, uh, secures the top and bottom of the battery plate, at the end of the screw. The other one will actually come up against the underside of this top plate, and then. The third one will just kind of come on top of the top plate. So, just excuse me as I finagle with this a little bit.
So that's the battery plate. Pretty easy. You can kind of see how it all comes together there. Nothing too much to explain. Then, the next part we're going to tackle is where the ball caster is. For our designs, we have three points of contact with the ground, the two wheels, and then the ball caster. This ball caster is obviously doesn't have a motor, it's just kind of free to slide whichever which way. Most of the driving comes from these back two wheels. So, because the ball caster isn't quite as tall as the wheels though, you have to have some plastic bits to keep it in place keep it at the right height so that the base plate itself isn't tilted forward or anything. So we just have a few squares of HDPE that kind of act as boosters more or less. This is going to go on pretty easily just straight through the base plate. That's that part. That's pretty much all the parts for the underside of the base. Sorry, right, we've got a washer, but whatever. I'm gonna go grab the wheels real quick. So these are these right here are the wheels. Nothing too special. They're pretty cheap. They have a they have a small gearbox attached to them, which I think is about it's a ratio of one to uh, sixteen to one. So these work pretty nicely. They're a little cheap and they're susceptible to being run a lot. They start burning out. Um, we're looking at better motors but for the purposes of alignment where they start and stop a lot it's just not too much of a problem so I'm just gonna put them on here. So does your brother have to go to all the practices and everything? Oh yeah. Sounds like a lot of time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean he's fully on the team even though he's a walker. The only difference is he just doesn't get scholarship money. Uh -huh. But other than that he's got your old team lifts, practices. He doesn't travel when they go to away games, but and on like game days he doesn't have to show up until like one. Uh -huh. But it's a team that the travel team spends the night in a hotel the night before. Yeah. See, yeah, my grandpa and grandma were in here and uncles and aunts and stuff. It's <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, why is this coming that in nicely? Oops. This is not securing very nicely. But.
talking about this isn't working. being rather stubborn. Mm -hmm. Let's try this again. Sorry, this is probably hella boring for you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm dozing off. It's a long one here. No, it's fine. I mean, if you fall asleep, I can easily just, like, just yell at really quick. That's the wheels, all the base plate stuff. You can see how it's kind of free to rotate or move forward. Sorry for being noisy. And that's more or less what we're done for just a standard base assembly. Next, I'll get into some of the electrical components, their placement, so on and so forth. So you can hit the end record. <laughs>